What's up everyone, how are you doing? Uh, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to install Oracle Database 21C on Ubuntu. Yes, uh, I know uh, that it is not possible to install Oracle Database in Ubuntu or in Mac OS, but now it is possible with Docker. So I'll be using Docker. I have uh, installed uh, Docker in my Ubuntu. And uh, Docker, if you don't know about Docker, Docker is something, it's like a virtual machine local you can create multiple virtual machine okay for every docker container when you create a docker container it becomes a local virtual machine um, now for oracle or msu server all the software provider they are providing a docker version of all the software for oracle we have a docker version okay so i'll let us first get you to take you to the setup commands now we have here the first this is the docker image okay this will pull the docker image the, this is the link for that okay this is the link uh, I'll provide everything all the commands here you can just use that now this will give a result that it is already installed because I'm not going to pull this because uh, this is a very huge one I've already pulled it if I remove again again pull it will take a lot of time I'll just not pull because it is already there now I will uh, go start from the second one so this this what we'll do this will install the oracle database and configure it with all the parameters so let us run this this will take some time and we will run this and we will come back after this is completed so we can see this is done okay so first what we will do we will uh, check the port sudo docker ah uh, sorry oracle db container name port sorry uh, just a moment port command is port and for container oracle db so you can see that for every port there is a defined port for the container okay because see if you create multiple uh, suppose multiple image so there what we will have multiple container suppose if you create another container with that image so you create a uh, different oracle database okay so this is the concept of docker because in docker what you can say you can create a multiple machine in, in your machine you don't have to create multiple virtual machine in virtual box or vmware just create it in docker suppose you have created five oracle database for your uh, some office project okay for five oracle database contains five different kind of database okay now in same machine they cannot have the same port so you have to uh, there will be a different port that is why for the same 1521 different random port is created for this uh, 1521 this port for this um, 5500 enterprise manager another port so first what we will do we will go to the SQL developer I already have here connected it's not it doesn't exist at all so this is the uh, connection just go here system uh, again I give the password unless it is something else now the what is the port here the port is 32776 okay service name is XC blah 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 okay and uh, IP address is this is my IP address okay so uh, before this let us check with the telnet check the port with the telnet now if you connect it to with 1521 it will not connect if you connect it to 5500 it will not connect but for 1521 you have to mention 32776 connected with 32777 connected quit okay now go here test success save oh sorry now expand this I mean connect it connect to this see connect it now I have connected to system we have everything the tables okay views everything is there other users so this is the database okay then disconnect now next what we will do we will connect to with SQL plus so executing any command like uh, we will execute SQL plus which is a uh, program within this Oracle database 
for uh, executing any program within the container, you have to use exec, which is exec means short form of execute. Okay, copy this and paste it here. Connected. Okay, select star from tab. Suppose DSC all tab columns. Okay. Now let us do one thing. I will change the password of system new password new password I give it system instead, instead of password colon I give system so we can see that uh, for system it is connecting okay so this part is done now let us go here we will check the listener status here with same uh, sudo docker exe uh, hyphen it uh, container name lsns status so you can see the status here okay then the last part what we have we will have we are having this one okay so i am already tested this so let us close this and go here http uh, https here if you give see 3277 we have to be 32777 now instead of 32777 if you give 5500 it will not work okay so you have to give 3277 okay so system password system container name empty login okay now if you want to remove uh, what you will do first you have to stop this okay let us close this one I don't need this right now okay and I think hope the connection is also closed yes connection is closed now if you want to stop the service what you will do you can press a pause here control C here but uh, that is not a good practice best is if you do sudo docker stop oracle hyphen db so this will stop the service okay now if you want to go and want to connect this to it will not connect because the service has been stopped test net character could not be established because the service is stopped here okay so if you again start the service it is just uh, starting and stopping oracle service uh, just uh, one thing to add so if you if you check if you st when you are stopping and again starting the port number is changing now this port number is incremental last time it is uh, 32776 and 32777 now it started from 78 and 79 now what we will do we will go that is why it is not here we will do 32778 Dead. okay save so every time when you connect you have to change this okay here also if you go here and do a suppose em three two seven seven nine okay HTTPS so you have to just keep in mind one thing uh, I think suppose the port might be 32779 okay no I've given a wrong IP address sorry 127 so every time you start you have to just uh, what you have to do you have to simply run this command sudo docker port oracle the uh, container name you will get the actual port number which has been created or you can also keep the track of the last port number which is generated the last one that was easy 32779 the next one will be 32780 32781 okay so this is all about this video i hope you like this video if you like this please uh, press a like button and also subscribe to my channel okay thank you so much